Recently, Mayor of Atlanta Keisha Lance Bottoms came out and stated that Ahmaud Avery's death was akin to a lynching of an African-American man. She even went on to say that she blamed the president because of the racially charged environment we're in right now. She blamed him because these men were supporters of the president and they chased this man because of the ennoblement or the empowerment that they got from this president. Now, I've gone back and I've looked at several situations and most of the situations that I've come up with and thought about in my head, I've been able to go back and trace and see that every time there's something that's uprising the black community to get us into our emotional vein, there's always been one shape or another, in one shape or another, an election. Whether it is an election for something local, whether it is an election for something national, whether they're trying to push the narrative in a community and they want to make somebody afraid, they always seem to do this, incite us to riot. It's not so much that they want to incite us to riot that I'm making this video today, but I want to ask each and every one of my brothers and sisters, are we so emotionally moved? And if we are, what can we each do individually to prevent ourselves from being moved this way? You see, there's something to be said about someone when they're studying prey. They look for weaknesses and they wanna see exactly how people respond with X and what is it that they do constantly when X is implemented. If this is the case and they've studied us so well, then I think it's incumbent upon us to stop doing whatever it is and stop buying the garbage they sell every single time. We need to investigate ourselves and find out are we motivated by fear and anger? Are we the mad black woman? Are we the mad black man? Is that who we are? And if it is, are we making decisions while we're angry? Are we? And I think the same for my white brothers and sisters. Are you moved by what you see? Do you become defensive and want to defend yourself and your community against the black man every time something goes on? Do you make sure that you go out and you vote and you push for the person that you want to get in there so that they change these things? It's incumbent upon all of us to think about the role we play and the decisions we make. Please like, share, and subscribe. This is Felicia Lockhart, and this has been the Lockhart Perspective.